Hi all you Banner in a Box users, new and old. I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to manually download and install Band in a Box on your Mac. This tutorial is for those who are unable to use the new Download and Install Manager, since the Install Manager requires Mac OS 10.11 or newer, or for those who simply want to install the old way. So if you've arrived here by accident, please check out one of our other install tutorials. Now any purchase that you make directly from PG Music, or if you register a serial number from one of our authorized resellers, you will receive a confirmation email much like the one I have in front of me here. Now the two most important things in this email are your download URL and your serial number. So let's start by clicking on your download URL. Now here we are, this is your download page. You'll see a number of things on here, including some setup help, manuals, and some suggested tutorial videos. But the most important thing on this page is this checkbox down here, which will show you all of the manual download links. Now you'll see that there are quite a few files here. Depending on which band in a box package or upgrade you purchased, there may be fewer than shown in this video. But no matter how many downloads you have, it is important to download and install all of the files on your page. Let's start by clicking on the first download link. This first link is for the band in a box program itself, and it's important that we install this one first. You'll see that it's popped up in the Downloads folder here, as well as in the Download menu in your browser. Now, I'm using Safari, so if you're using a different browser, then this might look a little different. Now, we suggest only downloading one file at a time. However, if you have a very fast internet connection, you may choose to download multiple files at once, in which case, simply click on the other download links to begin downloading them. Now, once everything has completed downloading, you will see them in your Downloads folder. If you do not have the Downloads folder in your dock, simply go to the Finder and click on Downloads in the sidebar. Or if you've downloaded to a different location, simply open a finder window to that folder. Either way, once you're in the downloads folder, start by running the main band in a box installer. This will be the one with the file name that begins with band in a box. Here we are. The installer will start by showing you some notes about what this file will be installing. Please read through that if you would like, then click continue. The next page gives important information such as the system requirements for band in a box and some basic installation instructions. So please read through those if you'd like, then click continue as well. Now this page covers the software license agreement. Please read through and click continue to agree to the license agreement. Now we're almost ready to install Band in a Box, but there's one thing I need to mention first. By default, this will install to your internal storage. So if you want to change that, please click on change install location, then choose install on a specific disk. This will display the hard drives connected to your system. So simply select the one you want to use and click continue. Finally, whether you've chosen a custom location or not, click on the Install button, enter your password when prompted, and click Install Software. Installing this file will take a few minutes, but once it's complete, simply click Close. Now some computers will ask you whether you want to keep or remove the installer. Deleting it will save some storage space since you don't need the installers once they're installed. However, you may want to keep these files for later. For now, I'm going to keep this file. Now that we have the main Band in a Box program installed, we can install the rest of the files the same way that we did the first one. These don't have to be installed in any particular order, so just start from the top of the list and go down. All right, once you've got all of the different files installed, now it's time to run Band in a Box. To do that, open the Finder, go to Applications in the sidebar, open the Band in a Box folder, then double click on the Band in a Box program. When you first run Band in a Box, it will ask you to access the microphone. This is required to make recordings, such as if you want to add vocals or guitar to your songs. So please click OK here. Now before we get to creating some songs, Band in a Box will likely have a couple messages pop up. It will ask you to update the style list, and it will ask you to activate. Start by clicking Yes to rebuild the style list, then click Yes to confirm. This will take 30 seconds to a minute to rebuild the styles, reel tracks, drums, and other content. Once the style list has completed rebuilding, click OK to close that window. Now we need to activate. You'll notice that I've lost the green message at the bottom. Normally, if you just click on that, it will open up the activation window, but since it's disappeared on me, we can activate by going to the Help menu and clicking Activate Band in a Box. This will give us the choice of activating online or offline. The easiest way to go is to activate online, as the offline method requires contacting our customer service team to get an activation code. I'll start by showing you how to activate online, but I will also show you how to activate offline after that. Once you click on Activate Online, it will ask for your serial number. To get the serial number, go back to your download page, click on the Copy to Clipboard button next to your serial number, then go back to Band in a Box and right-click and paste it in. Then click Activate Now. 
Band in a Box will then contact our computer servers to receive the activation code. Once you're activated, you're ready to go. If you have to activate offline for some reason, then click the Activate Offline button. You'll see a similar screen to the online activation window, except that in addition to the serial number, you'll see that it provides a request number and asks for an activation code. To activate, you'll have to contact our customer service team to get the activation code. You can contact us via phone, email, or online chat. You'll need to provide us both the serial number and request number for us to be able to generate the activation code, as this is unique for each computer. Once you've received the activation code, simply enter the serial number and your activation code into this window and click Activate Now. Success! You're now fully ready to use Band in a Box. If you have any other questions, or if you ran into any trouble, then feel free to contact our customer service team. Otherwise, thanks for watching this tutorial video, and as always, have fun!